And welcome to another epic edition of Hollywood Uncensored. I'm Sam Rubin. Our mission here is pure as the driven snow. Our guests have no scripts. Their huge personal entourages have all been set out to buy a huge number of frappuccinos. So they're here alone, unshackled, and really ready to spill. Pleased and proud to share the stage and mind the wit and wisdom of another stellar panel, Tommy Davidson, the comic extraordinaire. Woo! We begin at the beginning with a discussion about the two biggest mediums of the moment, movies and TV, and maybe it's me. But with the new fall season starting, I don't think my TiVo can take all the choices. HBO's Boardwalk Empire, supposed to be the best new show since The Sopranos. The Closer just finished this week, amazing. Sitcom I really like, The Big Bang Theory, starts with new episodes by the end of the month. And if you don't like any of these shows, what? There's like 250 more. <laughs> and by contrast, when my wife and I went to the movies last weekend, there was no choice. There wasn't anything we wanted to see. The Fall looks promising for some feature films, but we all know the summer wasn't so great for movies. So right now, right this minute, what's better, TV or movies? TV. I, I mean, there are more choices of characters. It seems to me that they are creating movies. If I could be very broad in my strokes, and why not? The people who make movies certainly are. They are creating movies, it seems, almost completely with a young male audience in mind. And, I mean, nothing against young male audiences. You know, a bunch of young people like to get in one car and go to a movie. Why not? But I don't care about a kid getting uh, his first feel. I, I don't care. I did it already, or had it done to me. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't care about seeing that movie. I will go see a big block comedy because it's nice to see a comedy in a full house. But other than that, I, I really don't want to see that same movie. A lot of your again. audiences feel left behind. But don't you think, like in movies, there's more room for development? You expect that because you have a good budget. You have the. You, you, seemingly, you can get the cream of the crop of developed actors, people that have matured it, it over budget budget. And they were waiting for the technology to be ready for that movie so that it would look different, so it would compete. That was a big roll of the dice, that it would look so different that would bring that, that audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you keep rolling dice before. Because that's how we wheel it yeah. do. <laughs> that's how we do. Yeah. But you know what? I mean, that's something where you go, okay, it's worth it to see a movie that big for that right. look. But otherwise, yeah. sometimes that technology gets yeah. in the way. So it, is it the audience that can't recognize quality anymore in the depth of, of the talent of the actors or what? Yeah, I think it's personal choice. Like, with movies, it's more about personal choice, whereas TV, it's what's available to you. Right. And to me, it's like, it's like a blur because there's so much stuff. There's, there's cable, there's FX, there's all this stuff coming at you. So the volume is so high. You know, in movies, you get to choose, okay, I like this kind of movie, or I want to go see that But don't you feel channel. like there's so many channels that they actually have now created, well, like the Lisa channels. channel? Right. You know, right, it's right. like there's but, a channel yeah, that's what I mean. for NASCAR They're not viewers, marketing to us, but, because we don't go to the movies every night. It's like the 15 and 16-year-old kids who are going on a that's date. That's why they Those make the, are the movie people for... Are going. I went this weekend, I saw Mezrine. Oh, the hello. Vincent Cassell film. Yeah. I went and saw both of them. The theater was empty, but it was right. a fantastic film. Right. Every movie, me and my girlfriend say, should just be called Five Guys Over 50 and some girl they pay in Hot Pockets. That was Sex in the you know, City, who's yeah. Five Guys Over 50. Right. right. You know what? what say it all you want. What you money, say it. What money did that movie make? Because that's the one movie they made for over old broads well, like they, me. They, you know what? Speaking like speak old, speak old broads, let me show you a tape. I just talked, uh, here's a name drop for you. Uh, Helen Mirren uh, on a satellite earlier today. She's what does high. she prefer? She's Helen Mirren? She's hot. You want her number? She's hot. I'll work that she's out here. Caliber, What's baby, better? Do you like that, baby? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's what she's, movies versus TV. Go ahead, Helen. <laughs> Television work has always been very, very interesting. It's always been very good for me. Some of my greatest roles have been on television. With That's right. All right, what I do you agree think? with that. You like I that? I agree yeah. with that. And there are very few movies that you go, I can't wait to see that. We're, we're actually, I'm going to yeah. go to the arc light yeah, and I'm going to see it. If you're, if, you're pop, if you're a pop movie fan, yeah, though. You know, I got kids. So anything that comes out, Toy Story 3, right. Avatar, you know, in, me. Inception, you know, these are crossover, like, pop movies. And I can dig it, you know what I mean? And then TV, to me, TV used to be really fun. TV used to be fun. TV is kind of niche now. Yeah. It is, it's, it's, it's kind of a very slick, specialized. It's kind of a slick right. network. They come in and right. they, they, they decide who they're going to have in the cast, and, and that becomes the show. the show. Like, there's these niche shows, House, and there's this, and there's that. Do I think you one of the most disappointing shows? things about TV for me is that there are hardly any black shows. And yeah. that, that really kind of, like, for me, it, it, coming from the show that I came from and sure. coming from the background that I come from, it's like the networks didn't get hip and they didn't change. It's like they're being kind of selfish. Or even when they, it seemed like there were steps made, all of a sudden, it, if Cosby went away or if George Lopez went away, there wasn't anything that took its place. Yeah, it's just, there are a few coming yeah, Tyler Perry, man, come on. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? There's all kinds of black shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, good. Uh, yeah, uh, no, 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 no,
He knows that. He knows. Terry Crews will come kill all five of us.